The federal government's job seeker payment is slated to be cut next month, sparking fears for those without work. A new think tank close to the Liberal Party says that after that cut-off date, welfare payments should be raised to 70% of an unemployed worker's previous earnings for six months. Let's get some further detail on this with Stephen Hamilton, Chief Economist at the Blueprint Institute. Steve, great to see you. Your argument is that you need to keep it high, other nations do it, an unemployment insurance to basically uh, help deal with the, the, the income shock felt by unemployment. Talk us through it. Yeah, Kieran, thanks. Uh, so the, the debate about unemployment benefit in Australia is dominated by the rate, right? You've got people on the left who want to raise the rate, you know, to, to increase people's standard of living. You've got people on the right who don't want to raise the rate because they're worried about incentives to, to stay on, on unemployment in the long term. So in the current environment, the debate is really focused on this 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 sort of tug of war between raising the rate or keeping it fixed. Now, what we want to you know make the point to people is this is a false choice. Really, you can have both. It's possible to give the newly unemployed a decent standard of living, cushion the impact of an unemployment spell. Right? I mean. $550 a fortnight for, for, a, for an average family with a mortgage, with school fees and whatever else is really, is really a tough thing to, to bear, um, but without encouraging people to stay on long-term unemployment. And the way to do that is to provide the support for a limited time. So give more generous support, but, but stop that more generous support after six months to give people a chance to find the right job for them and support them uh, in the meantime. And in this report released by the Blueprint Institute today, you point out um, there, Steve, as well, that it's most other advanced wealthy nations, uh, Canada, Israel, South Korea, they do it differently to what we do. And in, in fact, they have models not dissimilar to what you're talking about. That's right. So of all the OECD countries, so the, the 35 or so uh, advanced rich countries in the world, Australia is among just three that provides a low, flat benefit indefinitely, right? So every single other advanced country has figured out that if you give more generous benefit for a short period, you, you provide the, the recipient with a really strong incentive to find work because they can see that deadline looming. So if you look at the first three months of benefits across these rich countries, Australia has the lowest rate in the world, right? Uh, and in fact, in the in the three year period for somebody who's been on unemployment for for a, for a three year period, our rate is kind of in the middle of the pack. So you know we've really recognised that boosting that short term benefit for say the first six months, you know, will bring us in line with what other countries do, and will give workers you know true insurance to help them weather an unexpected income shock. Stephen Hamilton, Chief Economist at the Blueprint Institute. Thanks for that. Very interesting uh, insight and proposal, this unemployment insurance. Talk to you soon.